Andy Warhol had some strange eating habits. In fact, he loved sweets so much that he would stop by here in New York City at Serendipity often. He never actually paid for his ice cream. He used sketches and paintings instead, which is pretty awesome. The most amazing thing that I love is we're sitting in the exact seat that Andy Warhol used to sit. If you don't mind, I'm gonna get started on this here Sunday. Mmm, it's delicious. All right, guys, we are in for a treat because we are here in Serendipity uh, with Stephen Bruce. And not only is this, as we're gonna talk about, I, I'm really excited because <laughs> this place is so amazing and famous. Um, one, because we're sitting, is this where, I'm, how, how long have you owned this uh, restaurant? Not since the inception. No kidding. Yeah, we're about 63 or 460 years, but we never count, so. Yeah, that's so important. Which going on and on and on. But this was Andy's favorite table, of course. This particular table. And that's table. one reason why we're here, and we have an effigy above uh, to signify Andy's table. Yeah. And of course, he always traveled with an entourage. He never arrived alone. He, yeah, he always liked to have the public around him. One time he was here, uh, I know Mary Tyler Moore is in the news now. Last time he was here, uh, he asked Mary Tyler Moore for an interview because he was running Interview Magazine. And of course he said, we want to make Mary very comfortable. We want to give her all the ice cream and the candy and so forth that she wants. So I looked at him, I said, you know, she's a diabetic, Andy. Oh, no. <laughs> he didn't know. <laughs> Whoops. No. <laughs> That's hilarious. Andy was very interested in surfaces. Yeah, yeah, very much so. So tell me, how often, from what I understand, I don't know a ton. I mean, how, one, what was his favorite things to order? If, well, frozen hot chocolate, of course, is number one. Then the lemon ice box pies. Okay, you we got to bring this over. And you have both of those. Yeah. And, and, this, by the way, they brought out, yeah, I asked which ones they, this is amazing. Thank you. We have four flavors now, which, which oh, are really? absolutely great, yes. And that's the drink that put us on the map. Oh, no and kidding. Jackie wanted to have it for the White House, too. Are you serious? For a party, right. Wow, that's really impressive. But I said, I'm the only one that can make it, and if I don't go, the drink doesn't go. That, oh, so you got to go? No. Oh. I couldn't get security uh, clearance in time. Of she course. called from the White House, and it was yeah. just one of those quick impulse things that didn't work out, unfortunately. Yeah, that's, man, what a neat story. So the other things I've heard, I mean, was he here pretty often then? Very often, yes. Really? We met him very early when we opened in 1954. Okay. And he was a customer practically till the day he passed. Wow. Yeah, some of my fa I just saw recently a photo of him standing outside with that the three ball light out there right, standing exactly. out there. Love that photo. Exactly. So I got so now another thing I heard too was that um, did he ever have where he couldn't pay or he would trade like pictures or well, paintings he, he, or something? He never carried really any money that uh, I saw. So oh really? Say. And uh, our first meeting was he was showing me all his rejections. He had to, you know, sob over a frozen hot chocolate because uh, Diana Vreeland didn't like any of his drawings and didn't accept them. Oh, really? So I said, Andy, I have an idea. And he said, what's that? I said, I'll take all of them on memo and frame them for you and let's see if we can sell them. Really? So we put our heads together and we framed them very simply. Okay. And we charged $25 each. Twelve wow. fifty for him and twelve fifty for the Are you serious? Us. Very serious. That is amazing. And we, in about two weeks, we were sold out. No kidding. Uh, because uh, at that particular time, we uh, uh, we had fabulous people coming in uh, from Hollywood, from all the Vogue editors, and uh, so they snapped everything up very quickly. Oh, I bet. So then we started saying, well, let's have some shoes with color, and let's have a thigh to help with it. So he said, what do you want a thigh for? Because they said, we'll make two pictures out of one. So we framed them and uh, thigh high and then foot high. Huh. So it was a lot of fun and, and colors galore because he was famous for all his watercolors. Oh, yeah, yeah, no kidding. And at that time, he used India ink exclusively. Huh, wow. He colored everything in, in the ink. And one reason he picked this table is, I said, because he had an entourage of people and he would put them to work while they were here. No kidding. You want a dessert? Color this picture. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> well, it makes sense. Yeah, I mean, we've got, we're at this big round table, by the way. So yeah, it gives you an idea. Well, of, like, it was the room. an honor, and then to get a drink uh, and uh, and something sweet in return. Yeah. To nudge elbows, it's great. So what was he like? I mean, obviously you were fortunate enough to, man, work with him and know him so well. I mean, how did you feel like, what was his personality like? Uh, very limp. Hmm. Uh, hmm, yeah, wow, okay. Oh, I love this. Oh, I'm going to Hollywood. I love the movie stars, you know. Yeah. All that kind of, uh -huh. not spontaneous, but sort of, you know, that's what his interests were. Yeah, well, he always seemed like, I mean, maybe because he grew up and was in the house a lot being ill, but... You know, he, he wasn't really an extrovert, but he wanted to be. He seems more oh, introverted. Definitely, yes. Well, I think he uh, used uh, people's enthusiasm to um, to boost his yeah, own. Kind of, yeah, yeah, keep yeah, him going, energy, get excited. Energy exchange, yes, exactly, exactly. Oh, wow, that is absolutely amazing. I can't, so now, do you happen to have any of the pieces you guys uh, work on? Well, he on, was or? very sweet and very kind. He uh, gave me about 32 drawings of myself. Uh, he oh, said, he's wireless. Yeah. Just gave them to me. He sat down one day and said, "I want to do some drawings of you." And I said, "Okay." So he said, "Put your leg on the table. Put your elbow on the table." And he just <laughs> really just took a pen and sketched. And I have them. But, oh, that's awesome. You know, the Man. amazing thing is, he was a fabulous draftsman, and he didn't make a mistake. He didn't do one correction. Wow. They're really great. Yeah, I don't know if that's because of his, I mean, he was so prolific as an illustrator and a uh, yes. graphic designer. I'm not sure if that was like part of it, but man, that's amazing. Wow, I can't believe you have those two. That's so, what a, what a, so beyond Andy, I mean, other celebrities, people that you, through the years, you're like, man, I can't believe they were in here. Or yeah, exactly. well, I know you film I've movies seen, here. Yeah, I've, I've seen uh, everyone. Uh, serendipity has been very kind to me. I've Good. Hello well, to they better, every yeah. prominent person. And Salvador Dali was a trip, I have to say. Oh, you met Salvador Dali? <laughs> of course. Oh, my gosh. I'm so but jealous. Of course. Uh, was, was he here? I mean, I know he and Andy, I think they knew each other, but... What they was they may have been here uh, crossing paths like this. Okay. So I tell, you gotta tell me reports. about your meetings with him then. So what was, uh, he seems a little more eccentric than uh, Oh, he Andy. was, <laughs> terribly, terribly. I mean, with cigarette holder out to oh, here. Oh, yeah. And a lot of uh, blonde women around. Oh, yeah, that's, okay, this sounds like Dolly. <laughs> yeah, it is, definitely. He, cause he was at the St. Regis all the time, so he just popped up over here to say hello or just stopped in. And uh, he was a lot of fun, very gregarious. And then he saw, I had a wax figure ahead from the turn of the century. And uh, he, he said, I want to do an exhibition at the Museum of Modern Art. Huh. Can you loan that to me? Are you and I said, I'd be happy to. So I, he picked it up one day and he said, the ex exhibition starts next week. Why don't you come by and see it? So I said, went to the museum. I said, where, where is Salvador Dali's show? And I, they said, downstairs. So I went downstairs, and he had a huge fish tank uh, put into a wall. This doesn't surprise me, but wow. I don't, I don't think I remember this. OK. And then he uh, ordered snails. And he had snails all over the walls <laughs> and crawling all over this wax figure. Oh, gosh. And then he had a huge uh, fender from a turn of the century uh, uh, car and with a headlight at the bottom. It, like, it, it was an accident where everyone uh, fell out of the car and wound up at the bottom of the ocean. Mm, so yeah. it was very, very interesting to see all the snails crawling over this wax figure. Yeah. Because he was a surrealist and so uh, I guess that was yeah. part of the expression. Yeah, well, and he loved Bizarre, so I think, yeah, that, that's why I say, and just eccentric to the yeah, degree. Yeah, Bizarre I mean, is a definitely <laughs> good word. Right, right. Exactly. Wow, that's so amazing. Now, did he have anything in particular when he would come here that he loved to order? What? He was another sweet fanatic. Uh, yeah, what is it with artists? And uh, There's like so many of them, like Andy, I mean, yeah. Like, it's, it's, a and, it's a quick high, it's a quick fix. Okay, good point. It. Let's sure, face it, what it course. is, yeah. Because I'm like, I'm just, of you can't see, but I ate most of month the Sunday here. And, um, and the, you did uh, very box, well. It's, yeah. You can join the group. It's really, really <laughs> this is really good. <laughs> oh, wow. But yeah, that's so amazing. Wow, thank you so much for your time. and uh, It's fun. Wow, just great meeting you. And this place is just, man, if you guys ever have the chance to get down here, you've got to stop by Serendipity. And I'm, I'm going to say my favorite, personally, is this frozen hot chocolate. Because 
It is. It is really unique. Um, and not too sweet. Anyway, I loved it. So, man, so great to great. meet you, Stephen. Thank you meeting so much. You. Come back. Oh, I will. Time. <laughs> Most definitely. We'll have a frozen hot chocolate waiting. Okay. Well, thank you very much. You're I would welcome. love it. Hey, did you know that subscribing to our channel is one of the most epic things you can do? That's right. Subscribe now. Share our episodes so that we can actually make more of these things. I'm not going to lie. I love showing you where creativity and innovation are happening. Get on board and be outrageous.